What's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, right now it's 6 o'clock and at 6.30 I'm supposed to be at my school and fancy. You see, I've been mentioning it all week and I guess today is finally the day of my dance. I got a dance that I'm going to and it includes dinner and it's at my school and of course Gemma's my date and I have to be dressed, shaved, clean, everything in about 15 minutes. So let's do that. I'm gonna tear the shoulders off this thing. I'm too strong. I think it's too small, mom. Where's my bow tie? Do I own a bow tie? You know it needs a bow tie. Hello there, the angel from my nightmare, the shadow in the background of the morgue, the unsuspecting victim, there'll be darkness in the valley, we can live like Jack and Sally, if you want, you can always find me, we'll have Halloween on Christmas, and in the night we'll just wish this never ends, wish this never ends. Don't waste your time on me, you're already the voice inside my head. I miss you. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot think, I cannot dream tonight. And in my head I counted. The webs from all the spiders. Catching things, eating their insides. Like my indecision to call you. And hear your voice of treason Will you come home and stop this pain tonight? Stop this pain tonight <laughs> I originally thought I'd walk, but now I don't think so I'm a little late Where is my aftershave? Where is my aftershave? Mom! I don't got no aftershave. Does Dad have any? You found it! You found the good tube! This is the best stuff. I don't care what anyone says. Freaking best scent in the world. Can I smell you? Spilled water all over myself. And the dance is in 10 minutes. Well, I would have been more careful. <laughs> yeah, where's my camera? Oh. Okay, maybe it's in the... Goofmobile? Sorry. <laughs> Just finished up at the dance and it was awesome, but also always chaotic. Calvin here, my friend said he wanted to be in the vlog. What do you want? You got like 15 seconds of fame right now. Go follow Calvin J. Rob on Instagram. Wow. Shout out. Wow. All right, I'm gonna walk home now. See you, Bye, man. Calvin. See you, man. Dance was good, what'd you think? I had fun. You had fun? I love taking out the camera because people think I'm just taking pictures, which I'm obviously not. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I try and film a little bit of that for you guys, but it's, uh, it's always hard. I look like I'm running away. From home? Yep. She's got, oh my gosh, guys. There's a coat check, so you get a number on your hand and they put their coat on a numbered rack. And she had all this stuff and she they just let her back through. They're just like, here, you go and get all your crap. Also, I'm on student council, so I have the privileges. And normally, since I'm dating her and she's on student council, and I used to be last year, every dance we have, I always have to stay late and clean up. Not this time, baby. And if you guys didn't know, Gemma always goes home to her friend's house for a slumber party, but I was like, mm-mm, 
Not this time. You're coming home with me, sister. That makes you sound a little possessive. Makes me sound possessive? Yeah. Maybe I am. <laughs> okay. I possess a girlfriend and I want her to come home with me after the dance because it'll be fun. We're having a, we're having a slumber party of our own and I can't wait for you to join us. So if you could tell, it is bright out right now. That's because it's the next day. That's it's no problem, no problem. Um, basically, the dance ended at 10, and we danced hard for three hours. So Gemma and I were very tired, crashed asleep, and we woke up with the genius idea to go get some uh, McDonald's. Some McDonald's because we were watching uh, BuzzFeed, and there was this awesome video of like hash brown hunt down, and uh, we just really craved half craved hash browns so we're taking the bus on a quest all right everybody i am back this is a <laughs> weird vlog eh it's the next day uh, marks i think it's the first vlog ever where i've had three days in one video um actually i used to do every weekend i would have friday saturday sunday video all in one but anyways there's a reason that when we went to go get that mcdonald's i did not film that day it's late night tonight on this night and uh, something happened today that I'm finally able to talk about. Before you think it's anything bad, honestly, it's nothing too bad at all. It's just, it's a funny story. But at the, you know, when it's a funny story, but at the time it's not, not funny at all. That's what happened. So, you know those days where you're trying to get something done, even if it's a simple task and just everything's getting in your way. Like, it could be anything. Just the simplest thing is so hard to do. We had an hour to get to McDonald's and uh, didn't even make it there. And McDonald's is not that far. So basically what happened was we walked to this bus stop and we saw, as we were approaching, we were across the intersection. We saw our bus get there and drive away. So we missed our bus. So we were waiting in the uh, bus station for the next one. But it wasn't peak time, we thought. So that means the buses come every 15 minutes during peak time. So we thought it wasn't, so we thought it'd be a half hour wait. So after about 15 minutes of waiting, we started walking in the direction of the McDonald's um, because I knew the next bus station down, we'd be able to get to in 15 minutes and then we could catch the next bus. Either that or there was a house across the street we could use as an address for an Uber pickup. So we got to that bus station. I used the house across the street as an Uber pickup um, and our Uber was on its way, and then it said the Uber was gonna take 10 minutes to get there, and with about one minute left, our bus shows up. Actually, no, the Uber was like two minutes away, and our bus showed up, and after all this is done, it's like, we don't have all day breakfast at McDonald's, right? So we had till 11, and it was like 10.45. And there's still quite a distance between us and the McDonald's, so when the bus came, we're just like, okay, we jumped on it, because it was the express bus, but the express bus travels distances faster, but doesn't take you to very specific spots. It's got main hubs it drops you at. So the spot the express dr bus dropped us off at was the street that the McDonald's was on. But it was about, the McDonald's was about uh, four blocks away. So we ran. We actually ran. We ran all the way to the McDonald's and um, we get there. And John goes, what time is it? And I check my phone. And you know when you check your phone and you... And you see the time change from like 6.59 to 7 as soon as you turn it on. And you feel like a god. That's what happened. So I, but I didn't feel like a god. I turned on my phone and it went from 10.59 and I saw it flicker to 11. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then I look up as we're in the McDonald's. And I see they don't have like the plastic boards. They have TV screens with their menus on it. And at 11 o'clock, they just switch over. No more breakfast. So I run to the machines that you can do it on. I, I turn them on switches over literally every second i looked at it it switched over so didn't look like we were getting breakfast from mcdonald's which is okay because i said hey there's a tim hortons down the street in the mall and i said i, I wanted new shoes which new shoes heck yeah so i wanted new shoes and there was a tim hortons in there and tim hortons if you don't know it's like the canadian dunkin donuts but way better and don't don't get the Tim Hortons in America. It's horrible, apparently. But um, Tim Hortons here, they have breakfast till 12. And so we had an hour. And it was, like, down the street. So I was like, okay, cool. So we actually made it to the Tim Hortons. And um, they have these things called breakfast sandwiches. And you can get a meal with hash browns and juice. So we got two of those. Um, I paid for everything, fully paid. And we were waiting for our pickup. And it was taking a little while. I was like, hmm. Lady comes out. She goes, yeah. 
we only have enough eggs to make one. So I'm gonna have to refund you on the other. So I get a refund and after all of this, Gemma got hash browns in her breakfast sandwich and I got nothing. I actually did use the money I got for a refund and I was like, I demand a BLT. So they gave me one, but it wasn't no McDonald's breakfast, that's for sure. So the quest for breakfast, if you saw that vlog in Florida, I had a quest for breakfast and it was so hard to get breakfast. It's always so difficult to get breakfast. Why? They should make it so easy. I mean, do you know how many teens are going to want to wake up at 12 after sleeping in and go grab breakfast at McDonald's? And I mean, I understand that they have that in America, but apparently it's really unsanitary and there's like cross contamination and stuff. So at least just serve it till 12 or something. I don't know. Anyways, that is my story. This is another quest for breakfast. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that was kind of a big fail. So then after that is the icing on the cake. Gemma told me she actually had to go. Her mom wanted her home and she had other things to do, other plans. So she had to go, which kind of sucked. So then I was just kind of lonely and bored lying around my house with no motivation. I actually didn't get a lot of sleep the night after the dance. So I took like a two hour nap and I don't nap well. Ugh. So I napped. And then when I woke up, Griffin texted me and he's like, yo, you want to hang? And I was like, yes. So Griffin came over and we just chilled. All right, guys, that's been my day. A really weird vlog and I apologize, but I just needed to get a vlog up for you guys. So, and you know, some fun stuff in here. So hopefully this last half wasn't too boring for you. When faced with struggles and challenges, you just got to keep going because at the end of the day, a couple years or months or days, it won't even matter. You know what to do? You're awesome. Don't forget the world is your playground. So go out and have some fun. As always, this was Adam, signing off.